Hi everyone, I'm Will with Tread TV, and today we're here at RR Tire Express where we are gonna make this 2021 Dodge Ram sitting behind me basically our playground. We're gonna do all kinds of upgrades to it. I have Ian, our very experienced tire and wheel technician, with me today. Ian, what are we gonna be doing to this truck today? So today we're gonna to be doing a three and a half inch lift kit. We're going to be doing some fuel rebel wheels and some Nita Ridge grapplers on it. Eventually we're gonna get it up to uh, three and a half inches. There you go. Lift, tires, wheels, all gonna to happen today through the magic of modern technology. We're gonna speed it all up so you don't have to watch the whole process. We're gonna come back and check in with you in just a little bit. But right now, I'm gonna let you get to work. How does that sound? Sounds good. There we go. So basically dismantling the knuckle from the uh, control arm so that I can get the control arm and the spring out. I remove the tie rod end and this has to come out all the way completely, the control arm. And the knuckle's just gonna come swing out out of the way. I remove the speed sensor and the brake line so that I could just pull it out, move it back, and I'm gonna hang it up right here. Right now, I am pressing the spring on the strut, which is this piece right here, um, so that I can get the mounting bracket off. And then I'm going to put a preload on it, which is basically a puck that sits on top of the spring. So basically, this is your preload spring. Basically, this puts a uh, tension on the spring so that it keeps the same ride control as you're driving down the road. Um, and it basically puts a little bit more tension on the spring and then make sure the strut completely extends every time that the car goes over a bump. The front end of these trucks sit a little bit higher than the rear end of these trucks. So we only need two inches in the front to make that 3.5 inches. And then the rear, we're gonna put another coil isolator spring on and then that's three inches all the way around. Right now I'm uh, loosening the trailing arms in the rear so that the trailing arms and the uh, cross arm so I can drop that axle down. Then I'll be removing the springs, then the isolator boots, and then installing the three inch uh, isolator up top, and then a bump stop on the bottom, back up, and then she's done. It's been a long day. Ian has been super hard at work and has given this truck behind me a major upgrade. So the only thing left to do is let's check it out. Let's check it out. Come on. All right, so there you have it. The install is completed. We topped it off with an alignment and now we're gonna deliver it to a very happy customer. And if you wanna level up your vehicle, make sure you go to rnrtires.com and find your local r, &R. 
I'm Will, and we'll see you next time on Tread TV. Thanks for watching this episode of Tread TV. If you'd like more information on how to care for your vehicle or your tires and wheels, make sure you check out one of our other videos or subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so that you never miss a single update.